Challenging is it when you're going up against a quarterback who's played 12 games, but he's only thrown it seven times. You just don't really know what the passing attack for them looks like. Uh, yeah, I mean it's definitely a challenge. Uh, we're up for the as a defense, as a team, we're up for the challenge, and uh, we're excited to play against uh, somebody that's elusive, like like um, Alex, I believe his name. Yeah, uh, we're excited to play against somebody that's as elusive as him, and uh, he brings definitely a different challenge to the table. Too. Um, we're not going to get into it too much, but he definitely, uh, like I said, brings a different challenge to the table. Obviously, he can uh, use his legs at a different pace uh, than you would normally see at the quarterback position. And I'm sure he's going to have confidence even in the passing game. So um, it's definitely going to be exciting playing against him. Uh, is, there anything in, sorry. is there anything in particular you focused on trying to improve over the bye week? I mean, just, just communication, uh, just being better, more, more cohesive as a, not only a defense but as a team. Uh, just continue to get better at you know small things off the field too. So that's really about it. Jamila, you guys really kind of struggled at times as a defense with running quarterbacks. You know, last year and you put a, just a big emphasis, and that changed a lot from what we saw against Bryson Barnes and Utah State. What, what are you kind of carrying over from that, you know, into this week, and, and what's been different about this defense in regards to that? Yeah, it's just all about trusting in the scheme and you know uh, trusting in what we see, like our eyes, um, see a lot, see a little, see a little, see a lot. So. Um, it's just all about um, just being there for one another, not necessarily leaving one man on the island, and just uh, playing as a cohesive unit. Just about every defensive transfer so far for two games has been a success. What do you attribute that to in last year? There was some ups and some downs and some downs. How come everyone's been able to come in and have success with this? Like I said, you know, with his question, it's all about playing as a cohesive unit. Uh, we've been doing a great job, even, even with our ups and downs this year, we've been doing a great job of just um, playing on one accord, I feel like, for the most part. And a lot of that starts pre-snap. We've been much better pre-snap, you know, than, uh, than, than the previous. Um, but, you know, it's, it's got to continue to get better, and we got to continue to get better. What do you attribute to that? Being better pre-snap. Yeah. Uh, just working. Just working as a defense. I mean, like I said, it takes a lot of, it takes a lot off of the field, uh, even before we got to the season, like off-season and stuff like that. So it's just about trusting what we were taught and uh, the things that we've done so much. Uh, to the point to where we can't forget it. It's all about trust. Dan mentioned kind of the difficulty, of, you know, only seeing, you know, Orgy in that, that kind of package, you know, scheme and, and not knowing what the kind of, him being a quarterback, what the full offense is going to look like. How do you guys prepare for that, only having seen that package and not seeing, you know, what a full look? Has? Yeah, it's just all about uh, seeing, um, like I said, see a little, see a lot, see a lot, see a little. So that's basically just saying trust what we see. Uh, like I said, he brings a different challenge to the table when it comes to using his legs, whether it be on uh, early downs or especially even third down. Uh, got to maintain great rush lane. So um, we just got to play as a cohesive unit. Uh, but we're excited for the challenge. I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, how does practice change from time I'm going up against a quarterback who runs so much? Um, I mean, you got to continue to have the same habits. I mean, I don't think that your habits should necessarily change whether you're playing a running quarterback or not. Um, I think if, if it does change, then you're kind of doing something wrong. Uh, but also, you do have to have more focus when it comes to like just your eye discipline. Um, you know how fast you move from point A to point B. So that's all. That's about it.